There is no reason for you to hunt down what you would suspect to be a child in the bathroom and then ask about their genitals. Okay? This makes no sense. We can always tell. A mantra. Always said. By the turf. By the gender critical. By the trans hater. The transphobe. We all know it. We hear it all of the time. And the way they talk about trans peepos. You know, I love my, I got any trans peepos here. We, we love you guys. But in a very plutonic way. Very, very plutonic way. As far as you know. But with all of that being said. That, that's something that they always say all of, that's something that they say all of the time. To basically try and prove that there's some sort of like, always there's going to be a difference between normal people and cis people. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to, you know, their body, their appearance, and how they interact with the world. You know what I mean? And this has been proven incorrect time and time again, but no matter what, it's not like facts, truth, or reality is going to stop these people from believing what they do. And so, because of that, we now have to deal... These people are finding it incredibly difficult to see any... Um, finding it incredibly difficult to keep their business to themselves, and now they've made it everybody else's problem. Because I'm sorry, trans people do not just walk around and start, like, uh, getting into people's way, your business, and trying to make people uncomfortable. I gotta say, the people who always harp on this stuff, who are outside of that community or don't have those experiences, are the ones that are the people making everybody else uncomfortable. And if you don't believe what I'm saying, uh, we've had videos, public freakouts, all of the time about random people just starting to screech at people who may go by he, they, or something, or any other variation of pronouns. At first they said pronouns don't exist, and now they think pronouns are, there. there's like a pronoun gene, I don't know. But these people are making everybody uncomfortable, and they're making it everybody else's fault. Shark. And I just want to show you something, because this is one of the newest things that just dropped. This is one of the newest public freakout Karens that just dropped, and I gotta tell you, it's, 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 it definitely makes me very uncomfortable. I can only imagine what this person experienced while they were there. Let's just take a look at this. I knew she was talking about me, so I started recording. Today, a woman thought I was trans and harassed me for using the bathroom. I tried to mentally prepare myself before leaving the stall, knowing she was going to approach me. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, when this happened, this poor woman was just doing what women do, peeing in the bathroom, and some random person started to like screech and vibrate outside of her stall because she was so angry that she thought that she was a, a a singular transgender and she started to like hunt her and and like stalk her outside of her stall like you know you ever play like a stealth mission and you get like spotted by one of um uh, the guards and then they like go to like the last location they saw you and then they just start to like walk circles around while and and they go like oh must have been the wind you know as, as you're hiding in one of the hay bags <laughs> It's basically this, but for, but just for this woman. It's wild. I will come out if I were you. It's like, what the, what the hell is this? <laughs> the trans trackers. Yeah, the hunters. You, you've alerted the horde. <laughs> They're like, girl just wanted to pee. She's like, alerted the horde. The wild thing about this, just so you can keep this all in mind. These are the people who say, we can always tell. This lady is cis. This, this lady is not transgender. Okay? This is a, this, this is a cis woman, a, an untrans woman. Who's just going to the bathroom to pee as as women do? L literally nothing is going on. She didn't like wh whip out her dick and start peeing on somebody and then like scurry into the stall. No, I I, I have no clue why she thought that this person was trans, but whatever. I guess everybody is trans that I don't like. I guess is how it works. But this person's actually insane. Yeah, and and she's just sitting there ranting to like random people as they're trying to like finish up in the bathroom about like why trans people are evil or something it's wild huh? <laughs> Man, 
they be flushing. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a child. It? It's a boy. It's a child. What the hell? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Are you a man or a woman? Insane question to be approached. The insane question to be approached by somebody. So apparently she's taken it upon herself to be the trans deputy. She's um she she she's the the gender defender. And she is here in the bathroom. <laughs> she's she's a part of the toilet tribunal and she's here to <laughs> to make sure that everybody's in the, having the right gender in the bathroom. Show yourself, fiend. <laughs> the stall patrol. <laughs> it's she's a part of stall patrol. All right. You can't mess with her. She's about to give you your starter Pokemon. <laughs> and no, it's the genital general. <laughs> the body police. They're here. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, ACAB also can. ACAB is also the body police. All right. The body. The, po -po. the porcelain popo. <sighs> Oh no, Gar guardian of the porcelain throne, uh, the stalwart defender. <laughs> Are you a man or a woman? Oh my goodness, the crap cops, <laughs> the shit sergeant. The shit sergeants are here. Oh, my. I can't. I can't even possibly. I hate. I hate even making contact, uh, eye contact with people in the um bathroom. What does it matter? Who cares? No, yeah, it's the washroom warden. <laughs> uh, the stall monitor. Ah, oh, the stall monitor. <laughs> it's so good. It's the stall. <laughs> you you have your vagina pants. Who do you think you are? The stall monitor. Oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> the stall monitor waits. <laughs> yeah, it's like oblivion dialogue just starts what she starts walking through people, bumping people out of the way. Are you a man or a woman? My Lord. Why does that matter? Well, because you're in a ladies room. Okay. And I have gotten called out several times for being in the men's room. Okay. And you're going to be called out for whatever you're doing. So what are you like that? Peeing? You're going to, you're going to get, I've been called out for being in the meds room. Why are you walk for one? Why are you walking into the med rooms like that? Actually, never mind. Yeah. Any, anybody ever, uh, anybody ever went to like middle school, high school? You know what I mean? Also, what were you doing in the meds room? As, as like, I don't know, like as an adult, when you were like a kid, when you're in like high school, middle school, uh, you ever remember, remember like the girls was there ever a time where like the, the the girls room there was like a line outside the girls room because there was only so many stalls and for us guys we have like urinals and you could fit like 27 on top of each other so you could always there's always space to pee I, I i remember girls like running into like the men's room to go like pee in the, the stalls like I, I i remember that before nobody really cared you know what i mean like like they they scurry in they go like pee in the toilet and as women do, I would imagine. I've never watched one do it, but I would imagine that they've done it. And then uh, and then they go pee and, and, the, and then they like wash their hands and leave. Most. Yeah. Most mentally stable transphobe. They have the women's room is full. Thank you. Imagine being this woman and thinking you're the protagonist. Oh, absolutely. She's like she is. She, she is. She, she is stall patrol. <laughs> She's the stall monitor. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called out for being in the men's room, so you'll be called out for whatever you're doing, fiend. Now show me your penis. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I I have a conspiracy theory, okay? I have a conspiracy theory. I my conspiracy theory is that these people who like say crazy shit all of the time. Uh, who, who like try and pull this stuff? I think they're just trying to see some free genitals. If I'm going to be honest, that's what I think. I, that's my conspiracy theory that they're seeing some. Uh, they, they want to see some free genitals. Also, you are right. This is sexual harassment. There's a little thing that we call sexual harassment, and this should be illegal. You should not be able to like harass and harangue people like this while they're trying to like poop. You know what I mean? I, I I've seen stuff like this before. There was another one. 
just like this where this one girl was trying to use the bathroom and they freaking brought the cops in to like break down the door while their like pants was down while they were like in in the bathroom this is keeping women safe this is this is keeping women safe like fbi open up breaking down the freaking uh ba like stall doors to attack people show me show me a penis identifying as today i don't today? think that's any of your business okay it's not so you're in a ladies room oh, she's getting close. where i think i need to identify you why you do not need to identify me is that right Hold yeah. can i can i see your cock really okay go away from the place to come and get your room not that way you play your shit. Go down on the strip and try to do it there. Don't do it up here. This is a suburb. Not allowed. Not What the hell is happening? Go to the strip. This is a suburb. Being, uh, there, being trans is banned in the suburbs? I, did, I didn't know this. Being trans is not allowed. <laughs> she does sound like a fucking nerd. <laughs> she Bitch, yeah, you ain't a cop. Uh, these people, they think that they're cops, bro. You just wait until the police get here. What the hell? What the hell? Are the cops gonna do? Show me a penis. <laughs> what the hell is happening? A POV. You've listen. This is what happens if you've just never seen a woman before. Okay. This is what happens if you've never seen a woman. Yeah, the suburb pronoun patrol. I hate it. Allowed. Yeah, you think you're gonna be a woman? When I, it's okay. And be a man? It's okay. No, no. Figure out your this, identity in your bedroom. This shit is okay. Insane. And then project it on everybody else. She will accept it. This is not acceptable. Let's go get security. Yes, let's do the rest. Not ill. She wasn't even able to finish washing her hands. She still has a pee pee hand. No, she's leaving the bathroom and she does. She still has a pee pee hand. That should not be allowed. She she's pissing. She's now the bad guy. So true. It's fine. She doesn't have a penis or her hands are, um so her hands are clean. I don't think that's how that works. What do girls wipe wipe themselves with their feet or something? What do you what do you what do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Trust me, I'm a nurse. What? Sometimes. Oh, okay, my bad. Women don't okay, my bad. Oops. <laughs> no, females don't need to wash their hands. Vagina Vagoober Vagussi havers don't actually need to wash their hands. You know what? I'm on board now. Vagussi havers don't need to wash their hands because you only need to wash your hand if you have like a dick, because you have to hold your dick to pee. Vagussi havers don't need to wash their hands because they don't hold their vagina to pee. Like, come on, guys. You gotta you gotta start using your noodle. You gotta start thinking with your noodle. It is common sense. You're touching the public bathroom? Just open the door with your foot, dumbass. Do they wash their hands? Be silent. You know what? You've also lost your ability to speak. I hope it was worth it. Okay. She's harassing me for being in the bathroom. What's going on? Well, I'm asking her what her identity is. It's my girlfriend. So hold on, yes, woman. It's your you girlfriend. Yeah, so okay, it's a girl. Doesn't matter. Step back. What the fuck is happening? What the hell is happening? What the fuck? <laughs> it's your girlfriend. Why are you saying it? This is a human being you're talking to. Why do you keep calling them it? What is happening? It's none of your business. Well, your girlfriend wouldn't show me its vagina. So how am I supposed to know? Oh, my Lord. So this person just insanely harassed for literally just vibing. Had to go out to get there. Had to, she had to go out to get her freaking boyfriend to come, like, hopefully protect her <laughs> from this insane human being who's, like, hunting her as she's doing, like, nothing but pee. Is this what protecting women looks like? Is, is this a conservative definition of protecting women? Really? It's weird how that works out. It's strange. This doesn't look like protection at all. We can always tell, they say. This person decided to do a little follow-up after this uh, to talk about a little bit of what happened in, in the pretext of this. Everyone was just watching, which is unfortunate, but oh well. I think the most yeah, upsetting part up. is the fact that she thought I was a child, a trans child, and was literally attacking me, and no one said boo. 
And to the people asking why I didn't tell her what my identity was, it doesn't matter if I'm trans or not. I literally went in there to go to the bathroom, to go pee. So the fact that she followed me into the bathroom thinking that I was a trans child to harass me and bully me out of the stall is unacceptable because I was literally going to the bathroom, minding my business. Everyone. It's true. Someone said boo. Yeah, they didn't call upon boo. The sacred, uh, the sacred trans defending demon. Sacred trans defending Kami. I'm not, I'm not sure if you know that. Boo is a trans defending Kami. We love him. We love him. Transphobe targeting children. Yeah, what's new? <laughs> yeah, transphobes targeting children. What's new? You know? And we're going to be talking about this a little later when it comes to the attacks that have been done on places that are friendly to trans people, the violent attacks that, that have been done. But this is, and, and just queer people in general. This is, um, you know what? This is a really good, like, little, uh, little comic about this. Time to go on my patrol to expose the transgenders as the perverts and pedos they are. Show me a penis. <laughs> you freak. You're a man, aren't you? You know, you good at sports, eh? I'll need to take pictures of your junk to make sure the general inspector group. <laughs> Send it to the general inspector group chat. Where are you going? I need to look at your child's genitals. Your child, your child abuses a foot. I'm, I'm gonna have to take a look at that. I'm gonna take like I'm literally walks into the bathroom. I'm gonna have to take a look at that cock. Their child abuses a foot. Yeah, you have no clue. You have no clue where they are. They could be anyone. Literally the freaking spot. <laughs> no, wait a second. It's literally the freaking SpongeBob Patrol meme. You know, right here. Let me see. Where is this? Let, let me let me grab this for you. Where is this? Ah, here we go. No, yeah, They're like my my boys, the train, the the uh, the the stall patrol, the stall patrol. They're looking. They're out there. The transgenders. Where are they? They're 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 abusing our children. I need to take a look at that cock. You don't know why are you here. What's your identity? Come here. Come here. Hunt him. Get him. Get it. It's just ma wanted maniac. <laughs> the penis police wanted maniac. They're out there. Where? I'm, I must find them. This is how insane and crazy these people are. This is what happens. This is what happens when you allow this insanity to like rot your mind. There is no reason for you to hunt down what you would suspect to be a child in the bathroom and then ask about their genitals. Okay? This makes no sense. This is like a this is a trans nim nimby. Trans listen, we love trans people, okay? Trans people are our friends. Leave them alone. If you're trans, please don't be intimidated by this. What's more likely than you actually being harassed is you being intimidated out, out of being who you are by people like this who are looking to make your life worse and who have no care for the people who they want to protect and they have no care for you either. Shark, don't hawk. allow them to scare you, okay? Be yourself. Don't let them tell you what you can or should be. You are who you are. And they can and they can like it or not. It does not matter. Live your life, bestie, okay? Don't let them stop you. Oh. Hi. oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.